What do you YouTube? Welcome into my last final thought video for the Miami Dolphins. You know, this is probably the most exciting one that I just could not run away from. Uh, real quick, shout out to DolphinsTalk.com where you can find other Miami Dolphins content. Um, week 17, Buffalo Bills, first of all, I do want to I do want to issue out uh kudos to the Buffalo Bills and their fans because we had a game against them uh week 2 this year and uh, I was extremely critical of of Josh Allen as a quarterback his accuracy um but he elevated his game throughout throughout the course of the 2020 season and made a name for himself putting in put, putting them in the conversation for him being put put in the situation for him to be uh, MVP for this league, um, but uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and just get into the to the Miami Dolphins, right? Okay, so obviously us coming into this Week 17 game against the Buffalo Bills, this was a definite must-win game for the Dolphins. The playoff scenario was: if we win, we're automatically in. If we lose, we have to count on the the Ravens to lose, the Browns to lose, and the Indianapolis Colts. So far, we got the Baltimore Ravens. They blew out the Cincinnati Bengals, so they're definitely in. We have the, uh, man, the Browns ended up winning a cl close one against the Pittsburgh Steelers, so they're in. So right now, we're currently sitting here and relying on the Jacksonville Jaguars, who currently hold the number one overall pick in the 2021 uh, NFL Draft. So cross your fingers for the, for, the, for the Jacksonville Jaguars to pull out this dub against the Indianapolis Colts. Now, this is a, this was a game where Tua Tagovailoa had to sit back and separate himself as far as what us naysayers were saying. Now, before y'all before y'all jump the gun, look, y'all need to stop being so sensitive. That's number one. Y'all need to stop being so sensitive. Every time I sit back and say something negative about Tua, any time somebody, some other Miami Dolphins YouTuber says something negative about Tua, y'all take it so personally. Y'all want to sit back and want to want to bring in Ryan Tannehill. Y'all want to bring Josh Rosen into the conversation. We are specifically just talking about Tua right now as far as his play, right? So this is a, this was definitely a game where he needed to elevate his game for us to be able to make this final push into the playoffs. Unfortunately, he didn't end up doing that. We ended up losing to the final score of 56 to 26. Now, I'm sorry. When you look at it, Tua did not play well. I know a lot of people are going to sit back and try to blame the offensive line. A lot of people are going to sit back and try to blame the wide receiver group. Look, when you end up shopping at the dollar store and expect to have good quality, a good quality product, it's not going to happen. This, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When I when I sit back and I preached on this channel for the longest time about how I'm not a huge believer in undrafted free agents and late round draft picks to come in and start, I meant it. And for prime example of that, Isaiah Ford has been on this roster for quite some time now. And we have we up until this point, we haven't exactly seen some consistent play from him. But I'm 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 pretty sure at, at Right now, I think the jury, we, we already know what we're getting out of an Isaiah Ford. Same thing with a Nick Needham. I'm not really a big fan of Nick Needham. Y'all keep on saying, give Nick Needham time, give Nick Needham time. He was up in there against third and fourth string receivers, and he was over there getting burnt. So with that being said, again, when you end up shopping at the dollar store, this is this is the kind of this is the kind of product that you that you that you're paying for. You buy cheap, you get you see me, you get cheap, you get cheap results. That's that's what you get. That's what you get. So when you sit back and want to talk about the 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 Malcolm Perry's, when you want to sit back and talk about the the Isaiah Fords, um, my, I'm still on the fence about Miles Gaskin, but you get what I'm saying with this. But let's just go ahead and just get into Tua here, right? So I again, I'm not gonna put all this on Tua. It is other players' fault, but we talk about Tua right now. So there were the tour was looking a little bit too erratic out there today some underthrows some overthrows yes that interception the first interception he threw i'm not gonna put that on tour obviously Devonte parker ended up slipping on the slant route uh, i'm not gonna 110 percent put that on tour but again the stage of this game was huge we win we end that's how it is and it's gonna it's 
it seems like it's going to be this continued trend for quite some time now like the dolphins are in a situation and are in control of their own destiny and they did not end up capitalizing on getting the dub against the uh, uh, an afc east rival buffalo bills i'm extremely disappointed in that but with that being said as far as Tua moving forward what was Tua's his what was to his uh final stat line was 35 for 58 361 yards one touchdown three interceptions so look I'm, I'm completely, I 110% agree with most of the, Miami, well, some of the Miami Dolphins fans that are the, them, them diehard Tua guys. They said, sit back and be patient. Look, I'm extremely patient. I'm a patient guy. I've always been patient. But with that being said, the expectation, the expectation that you guys have sat back and y'all have put on Tua since the moment that there was the tank for Tua, the hashtag tank for Tua two years ago. All the way up until now, how he is the chosen one. How he is the best quarterback prospect that we've ever seen. By you guys putting that pressure on him, has sat back and op- and, and, and and sat back and put him in a different in a different light with with some of some of us Miami Dolphins fans. That's just what it is. That's what you guys sat back and have done. So you're gonna have to sit back and live with that. Now, throughout the course of this season, I have sat back and I have not been impressed with Tua. Like, y'all want to sit back and blame Chan Gailey for Tua's lack of success. I, me personally, I've only seen Tua up until today. I have I only seen Tua throw the ball down the field probably three times um, since he became the starter in week five. So, goes to show why Chan Gailey calls the offense that he calls is because you got, you, I keep telling you this. You got to play to the quarterback strength. Clearly, throwing the football down the field right now for Tua is, is not something that that doesn't, that doesn't play into into two of strengths. Currently, it's looking the the rollout to the left, uh, the play action stuff. That's more of Tua's game right now. Obviously, his 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 game could develop as as his as his career progresses. But at this particular point, what we've seen from Tua in his rookie season, that's what you're gonna get. And I'm and I'm so and you know what I'm 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 kind of relieved right now that Tua threw those three interceptions. I'm glad. I'm kind of relieved that he had the game that he had was because there's no more excuses now. There's no no there's no more excuses. You guys were sitting back and making excuses for Tua when we ended up getting pulled out of the game for Ryan Fitzpatrick. The same thing with Brian Flores. We're sitting back making excuses for him. We were sitting back and holding his hand this whole this whole season. Like the key, the, t- the key to being successful is you have to fail. So if if we hadn't got pulled out of that Denver game, I'm pretty sure we he would have learned something from that game where we had them end up throwing slinging the ball down the field 50 times for him to put for them for him to put us back into the game. This is what I'm saying. So this this is a, this is a Brian Flores this is a Brian Flores thing. But it me this is just me just giving you my perspective as far as Tua right now. And I'm not being again I'm not being a Tua hater. I'm just keeping a clip. I'm just keeping it completely 100. The Miami Dolphins have currently have a successful season. We had 10 wins. Most folks weren't even expecting the Miami Dolphins to have 10 wins with the with the roster that we had. But again. Miami Dolphins that are sitting back and so close, so quick to jump the gun and be like, we need to draft another quarterback uh, in the 2021 um, 2021 draft. Let's just be sit back and be patient, man. Just be patient. Like time will tell. Like it does. It's, this is this is why this is why we this is why quarterbacks are an investment. These quarterbacks have to develop. It just doesn't happen overnight. So just be patient. And whoever got that thought process that we need to go out and draft another quarterback. Please stop talking because when you sit back and you talk about talk about drafting another quarterback to bring in and compete, do you understand the ramifications around come, drafting another quarterback, whether it be third all the way up into the first round, maybe like a fourth or a fifth round pick quarterback, maybe, but really how much competition is that going to be bring? But when you draft a quarterback to compete, like you, then you have then you have then you have salary salary problems and stuff like that. That whole can of worms I'm not even gonna get into today. So with that with this notion of go ahead and drive another quarterback in the draft, that's dumb. Let's not let's let's just let's just move on from that. But like I said, this is gonna be my last final thought video for this channel for the Miami Dolphins. I just wanted to say it has it's most definitely been fun. Um uh, doing these videos over the past what five years now um i did when i came into youtube five years ago like i was just so focused on doing a whole bunch of different things i think i think the first video that really caught some fire was probably my miami dolphins 
Madden video or something like that. And then after that, I, I think it was the Finn, the Finn Siders, it was the Finn Siders, um radio show that I was a big, huge fan of. And um, when they when they ended it, I was like, you know what? I think I want to I think I want to push this Miami Dolphins content thing uh, a little bit further. And then I, it just ended up being the way that it is. So I, I take I, te- I legitimately take pride in that for help build the foundation for the multiple Miami Dolphins YouTubers that we have out there right now. But um, I'm not gonna be done with YouTube, like you see in the right corner of the screen, like the Not From Debate podcast. Like it's just giving it's just giving my undivided attention. Like moving forward, I feel like I could be a little bit more open as far as how I wanna how I wanna approach topics and i'm not just talking about miami dolphins topics we talking about everything up on there you see i'm promoting the hell out of it right now uh shout out to all the guys that have came over to that channel and subscribed to the channel consistently coming through leaving comments in the comment section um but yeah like i feel like that's that 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 was more of my what i wanted to do as far as when i started youtube all those years ago but as far as two is concerned, man, again, just sit back and be patient. We're gonna sit back, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see what happens with this Jacksonville Jaguars Indianapolis game. Again, man, hey, if you still wanna rock with your boy, not for the Bay Podcast, man. Go ahead and hit that 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 subscribe button. We definitely go live Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's gonna be big, man. It's it's most definitely gonna be big. Um uh, I just want to shout out some folks. If I if I don't get to you guys, if I don't get to you, man, my deepest apologies. Like we got like five thousand subscribers. Like I met a lot of guys. I met a lot of guys on my on my YouTube channel over the past five years. So again, man, if 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 I if I miss if I miss somebody, like don't 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 feel bad, man. Like don't I I, I don't forget you. All right, I don't forget you. Like first of all, I just want to shout out to my guys, uh, Shake Money, uh, Banks, and Havoc, obviously. Uh, we pushing, we pushing the Not for Debate podcast as as much as we possibly can, uh, providing some excellent, excellent quality content. Uh, obviously, want to shout out to the other Miami Dolphins YouTube. Obviously, Doug, it, Doug Lee Do Wrong. Be sure to subscribe to his channel if you did not already. Is uh, pushing, I believe, twenty thousand subscribers. So we definitely pushed with the Miami Dolphins YouTuber uh, way past what I was expecting. A Miami Dolphins YouTuber to come to. Obviously, shout out to TD Fins Talk as well. Um, again, if you're not subscribed to him, I don't know what the hell you're doing either. Uh, K Flexen, obviously, he came he came into the game. Um, Skags too, he he came in a little bit after I did. Uh, he has his own little po- has his podcast too as well. Um, the Fin the Fins panel with Larry, always happy to be on there to talk about Miami Dolphins. When I just want to talk about specific Miami Dolphins content. Be sure to go subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, Fan side the NFL. Also, be sure to check out Fan side the NFL. I feel like that was that that channel right there is the in between the lines of hard nosed football talk with reason uh, to be be to be completely one hundred. Uh, but yeah, most definitely shout out to those guys. They're doing an excellent job right now. And also, there's some other guys. Uh, the up, up and coming Miami Dolphins YouTuber, YouTubers out there that are doing their thing as well. I'm sorry if, if I um, if I forgot anyone, but um, yeah, obviously want to shout out to my guy Rev. Day one, most definitely continue to support. Um, let me see, I got my list right here. Uh, Lucas, man, that been 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 here since day one. Uh, Miami Miami football fin- fin- financial, excuse me. Uh, Nicholas Paz, Jacob Lopez, True Blazer, uh, Edward Polo, Daniel Alfred, Presidential, James C, Hayden Byron, Magic, my guy, my my, my guy, Magic Day One Two, uh, Aaron, Vic Mackey, Dolphins Ninety Four, Andrew, Miles Stangle, YouTube JXH, Noah. Garrett Petit, Petit, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, Jordan Gaming, Brendan Goodson, um, excuse me, <clears throat> Charlie Palmer, Gators Rock Tim, J- Gators Rock Tim, excuse me. Obviously with the with the Shimu videos back in the day. Obviously definitely a day one. Um, like it's 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 Mark Jefferson, 
Oh, uh, it's, it's just a big, it's a big rhinos. It's a, it's a long list, man. It, it's literally a long list. Got 5,000 subscribers, man. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting, uh, the turnout that I got for this channel. Uh, it's, it, it, it's just, it's just really amazing, man. Like definitely it's just really amazing, but most definitely, man, not going to be done with YouTube. I, I try to push at least one Miami Dolphins topic on the My Not For Debate podcast channel as much as I possibly can. But this is the last video, man. You know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that. Well, hit that like button and subscribe to the Not For Debate podcast. This is Great Window 4, man. You catch me on Twitter, Not For Debate podcast. I'm up out of here, man.